Here's Stanley Roberts, who found some people behaving badly. If you give a bicyclist their very own traffic light, one might assume that said bicyclist would follow the rules. But this is San Francisco, and rules here are merely a suggestion. I'm at the corner of Oak and Broderick, where sitting alongside an ordinary run-of-the-mill traffic light is a newfangled bicycle light. For some reason, the city believes that all bicyclists will follow the rules if they have their own light. Give me a moment to stop laughing. So, what exactly are the bicyclists doing? Well, I see a lot of bikes that are cutting through the DMV and not, not taking the um, bike lane. This appears so that they can avoid the bike lane and the bike lane traffic light which has been in place for a little over a year now. So what I noticed is that while many riders are stopping for the red light that was installed just for them, some have their own ideas. This bicyclist rolls through the red light, missing the pedestrian, then keeps on going. This rider makes a right on red to avoid stopping. Some are riding on the sidewalk to avoid the red light, then jumping back in the bike lane after. Some are riding against the bike lane, and many are riding on the sidewalk to use the crosswalk to get around. Now let's look at what drivers are doing. They are parking in the bike lanes for extended periods of time. In fact, this truck was here for hours, despite the no stopping tollway signs. This is one brave driver. There's even cash in the center console. People also like to drive in the bike lane like this taxi. And the scooters like to use the lane as a way to get around traffic and then jump back in the traffic later. And this driver who, while utilizing the bike lane, also used the sidewalk to stop. But no problem. She activated her park wherever you want button. As much as I want people to follow the rules, I guess if they did, I would be out of a job. The struggle is real. In San Francisco, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News.